For the first lecture of our curriculum, I want to describe you some key points about IP protocol, subnetting and routing. So, after this lesson, I expect you to describe what is IP protocol, what is subnetting and what is routing. I'm sure all of you know many things about these three topics, but we have to review them together in this lecture. So, let's start our today's mission. Internet Protocol or IP Any computer which wants to communicate with others in a network requires a common language. This common language is called the protocol in computer terminology. There are many different protocols around the world. Among them, OSI and TCP IP are more popular. OSI as a reference model and TCP IP as an operational protocol. These protocol suits or protocols are in layered architecture, which means that different functions of these protocols are distributed among different layers as you see. Application layer, presentation layer, session layer, transport layer, network layer, data link and physical layer in OSI and application, transport, internet and data link or link layer in TCP IP. IP belongs to internet layer of TCP IP. But since OSI is a reference model, we have to describe IP inside OSI reference model layers. So if we follow this arrow, we see that internet layer is similar to network layer of OSI reference model. So IP belongs to network layer. Network layer responsibility is providing logical addresses and routing based on these logical addresses. So when we say that IP is a network layer protocol, it means that IP responsibility is providing logical addresses and routers could do routing based on IP addresses. IP is introduced in two versions or flavors, IP version 4 and IP version 6. IP version 4 provides 32-bit addresses which are shown in dotted decimal notation. For example, 192.168.1.1. IPv6 addresses are 128-bit addresses which provides a very very large address space. These addresses are shown via hexadecimal characters. Each four characters delimit by a colon. So 32 hexadecimal characters are shown in 8 quartet sections. So to sum up, IP is a network layer protocol which is responsible for providing logical addresses and routers could do routing based on these logical addresses. IP is introduced in two versions, IP version 4 and IP version 6, which could provide 32-bit and 128-bit addresses respectively. What is subnetting? If we want to understand subnetting very well, we have to make an example. IP addresses are very, very similar to our home postal addresses. As a home address should be unique around the world, to post deliveries could be delivered directly to that unique address, IP addresses should be unique inside the network. 2. Let's consider the whole range of address space of IPv4, which is 0.0.0.0. .0, .0, .0. Zero. Slash zero. Inside a network like internet, Yana and I can distribute the different addresses to different countries. So we divide these addresses into different blocks and deliver these blocks to each country. Country 1, country 2 and country 3. Inside a country, the related authority divides the whole address into different blocks. And this dividend propagated until you and I as a customer buy a service and use these blocks. So as you could see, these blocks are very similar to postal addresses. We divide our homes into different blocks of a street, different streets of a city, different cities of a state, and different states of a country. And as you see that, different blocks of IP addresses delivers to countries, to cities, to ISPs 
and to different customers. These IP blocks are called subnets. The subnetting could be done through two methods, FLSM, fixed length subnet mask, and VLSM, variable length subnet mask. We don't want to mention the differences between these two methods. We just want to say that these blocks of IPs are subnets, just like the blocks of home postal addresses. And we divide these blocks to manage our IP addresses and deliver them to different customers. So subnetting is not anything more than dividing IP blocks to more little IP blocks and so on. Now what is routing? The philosophy of emerging the networks is communicating the people. So when we say that we divide our IP blocks into different subnets, it does not mean we want to separate and block our IP addresses from the rest of the world. Subnetting is just for determining the boundaries but subnets are required to be connected together for communication and data transfer. Therefore, we require a device and the related mechanisms to connect these different subnets. The required hardware for connecting different subnets are routers, and the mechanisms and the related instructions are called routing. So we need the routing instructions and protocols and routers to communicate different subnets and having an internet fork in Cisco terminology. Now it is summary time. In this lecture, we first made a brief definition about IP protocol and we said that IP is a network layer protocol and provides logical addresses and routing could be done via these addresses. After that, we describe subnetting and we say that subnetting is not just more dividing IP blocks into more little ones. And finally, we describe routing and we say that routing is connecting different subnetting subnets through routers. I hope this lecture could help you to improve your knowledge and see you in the next lecture.